we just ended up getting the beta leaks for Black Ops 6. We also got some gameplay that I'm gonna share with you. We got the beta, the download stuff, the dates, all that, right? Warzone zombies, and everybody's excited right now. Everybody's shaking. We got the D-Riders. I mean, the D-Riders would always be, like, shaking, and you know what I mean? Bricked up. They would stay bricked up. But even the Call of Duty haters, even the homie Blame Truth, he just let himself go. Everybody's excited right now. I wanna know what about you. Are you excited? Let me know in the chat. Let's go for two likes on the video guys but first of all i want to actually show you guys this there's a video I'll, uh, that is coming up that i want to show you but check this so i posted this over on my twitter black ops 6 will be 300 plus gigabytes so yeah do you do you have space left and yep it is showing up that it is going to be approximately 309 gigs let me actually zoom in like that because when i go full screen it does not so 309 gigs 309 gigs do you have the space for that let me know in the comments okay but uh, a lot of people are also bringing up the point that it's to do with the call of duty hq yeah it makes sense but you have to download call of duty hq and it's gonna be 309 gigs guys it'd be like that but traditional score streaks are in black ops 6 multiplayer and it's not the co cold war system so a lot of people are like hey i used to pray for times like these needless to say everybody's shaking man everybody's shaking i want to know your thoughts but check this roll it Hey, Been what's up, that. everyone? Welcome back to another Black Ops 6 video. Just like we talked about in the video yesterday, over 70 content creators and journalists had a chance to go to Treyarch and get hands-on with Black Ops 6, and they also learned some new information. I want to talk okay. about an article that released yesterday from Rob Keyes. He's the editorial brand and PR director of Screen Rant. I'll put a mm -hmm. link down below in the description to the article Damn. so you can check it out for yourself. But within the article, we get even more details surrounding Dude. multiplayer and zombies. However, it didn't end there. Alongside campaign details, there was also a little bit of Warzone, and we didn't actually hear anything about warzone yesterday it's not just gonna be a little bit of warzone warzone is literally gonna be the main thing i'm telling y'all this okay right now it is looking amazing okay even i gotta say like everybody's shaking right now everybody's like bro this is gonna be the best thing ever everybody's shocked right now as well like all, all my homies are looking like this everyone is saying this is it bro this is the year we used to pray for times like these and i have to agree we used to pray for times like these and it is looking amazing okay but when the multiplayer comes out, man, I, I, these seconds are going to be all about Warzone, man. And then the multiplayer is going to suffer. Hopefully not. Uh, after all, they, they got, what, like 4,000 deaths this time, right? So hopefully. They weren't ready to talk about it yet, understandably. Oh, oh my bad. Uh, this, uh, Phil Spencer actually fired uh, half of them. My bad, my bad. But we did get a piece of information that I think is important, especially for all of those Warzone players out there. The director of production at Treyarch, Yale Miller, confirmed to everyone that was at the studio that Omni Movement will be coming to Call of Duty Jeez. Warzone. Within the next few months, they're going to be talking about it and how it will integrate into Warzone. But as of right now, I guess the best thing to do is prepare yourself mentally for omnidirectional movement, omnidirectional diving and turning yeah. in midair and shooting yes, while sir. diving. It's, it's all going to be in Warzone. Yes, and we're going to learn how that's integrated over the next few months. Now, Sick is going to be able to dive back to their camping spot like super, super fast. You feel what I'm saying? That's a W. That's Bruh. a W. That's a W. I kind of think that it would be smart for them to introduce that before black ops 6 yeah. goes live yeah uh if they're possibly able to do that i don't know if yeah. it is possible i'm just kind of spitballing here but the reason i say that is because during the broadcast yesterday they made mention that once you play with this new omnidirectional movement it's hard to go back mm, and yeah. I'm kind of it's like one of those things right once she gets the bbc it's over it's i'm sorry but it's over you can never <laughs> You can never go back. You can never go back. And she would also be able to never go back as well. Worried yeah. about that. Makes sense. Because when we saw significant changes to Call of Duty, like the tactical sprints, and we saw significant changes to like the guns up mentality, it really did make it hard to go back to previous older Call of Duty games. Of course, it's like riding a bike and after a few matches, it just comes back naturally. I don't know if I'm just overthinking this. Maybe it's not nah, going to be nah, as big of a deal fine. as I'm thinking of it, but... No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. But let's talk about the beta. When is the beta coming up? When is the download? When can we download? And when can we give Activision the money? Because the people are just ready to give Activision their money. Everybody's bricked up right now. Everybody's excited, bro. And listen, man, this is by far... Yeah, this happens every single year, but this time it's kind of different right like i've never seen that many people being excited uh, and i'll keep a buck 50 bro like it, it is looking good though it is it is looking good right now so far it is, it is looking good all i'm saying here is no pre-orders but people are so bricked up right now that six are pre-ordering it left and right so yeah bro it, it'd be like that yeah f all i know bro like this this what's going on man everybody's back just like that ladies and gentlemen just like that
sprinting in all directions whenever you need to, diving whenever you need to, firing while diving whenever you need to. That's yeah. a big enough leap in gameplay to me that's really going to make a significant difference when it goes back uh -huh. to playing those other, other games. And I'm kind of worried about that when it comes to the beta as well. Speaking of the beta, there was a leak this morning that came from Game UK. Of course, all the promotional material has made its way into the stores. Black Ops 6 is available for pre-order, and there's an exclusive steel book you can get through Game UK. With the promotional material, employees were apparently given the beta date and it's going to be available from august 28th through oh, september 3rd allegedly this could okay. be the wrong date but if that is the case what? that means at some point during the broadcast what? they're most likely going to announce that the beta is live now you can go ahead and play right now uh they, didn't they say august 28th it says august the third wait what did i just misread that what the hell the broadcast they're most likely going to announce that the beta at some point yeah it says august the third during the broadcast they're most likely going to announce that the beta is live now you can go ahead and play right now everyone get in game and try the omnidirectional movement for yourself yay they're gonna probably yeah, do something yeah. like that which would make sense uh and so if that is true august 28th through september 3rd is the alleged beta dates and they are going to be shared across xbox playstation pc and wherever else the game is going to be releasing all right so let's oh, yeah, talk a little one. bit about multiplayer i do want to mention one thing i made oh, a little bit of a boo-boo yesterday I Oh, I see. So August 28th, yeah, that's when they're going to reveal it. So it makes sense. And then September the 3rd. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. I thought it was like August the 3rd or something like that, bruh. When I said that this would bruh. be the first game where you get a primary, secondary, and... Wait for it. There's something else coming up. Wait for it. A melee weapon. That is not the case. I actually forgot that back in 2016, I believe, Modern Warfare Remastered ended up actually doing something like that. So I apologize to anyone that I may have uh, misled. Modern Warfare is still the GOAT. But anyway, primary, secondary, melee is going to be there. We get a tactical, lethal, field upgrades are making a return. We have three different perk types. Enforcer perks, yeah. recon perks, and strategist Dang, perks. Bro. With wild cards and score streaks making a return. And even more content coming through post-launch. Black Ops 6... And, and you know the craziest thing here is that, like, this like, is which is something that I didn't see coming, okay? I really didn't see coming. I didn't see coming. They also revealed the... the yeah! They revealed the BBC bundle as well, which I, listen, man, that was not on my bingo card. And I gotta say, bro, this be busting, bro. This is looking amazing. Black Ops 6, guys, come on in, zombies. We got, like, the multiplayer in the 60s. <laughs> Dude, everybody's excited right now. Everybody's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And everybody's, like, really, really shaking. It, it is crazy. It is crazy to say, man, they say people change, seasons change. Yeah, bro, Call of Duty players also change. Roll it. It's also going to feature two factions, just like we've been seeing over the past few years. The Rogue Black Ops faction and Crimson One, the CIA-backed faction. Yeah. We have Marshall, Yara, Bayon, West Point, Nazir, and Ratcliffe on Rogue Black Ops. And then we have Aleo, Kane, Stone, Neron, Bailey, and Volta on okay. the Crimson One. Something that I didn't mention in my video yesterday, and I apologize for that, is whether or not gear would be shared. And unfortunately, in multiplayer and zombies, there will not be any shared gear. No crossover Man. of skins or characters Man. or attachments or weapons or anything, camos, none of that. It's not going to be shared. In Warzone, yeah. however, everything will still be there because all the Black Ops... Oh, man. Like, okay, so you're going to... How are you going to do this? Like, uh, it, it, yeah, we got the friendly UAV online bundle, the BBC bundle, right? It, 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 they revealed it, but you're saying that the original one is not gonna be in this game? Come on, man, that's some, that's some F, cr that's some crap, bro. Like, uh, there are some words that I don't even want to use right now, bro. Like, come on, man, that's some, that's some clownery, bro. Will be integrated to the MW2 and MW3 stuff. So all your characters, the new characters man. from BO6, all of that stuff will be available in Warzone still. All those. Characters. Like the video, like the video. I feel a little disappointed right now, man. Just, just a little bit. Like the video if you're disappointed, bro. Animals will be there. It's gonna be interesting to see how they handle this, uh, considering. When we got towards the tail end of Warzone 1.0, yeah. things started to become pretty bloated with everything that was in the game. So true, I don't know how true. they're going to handle it. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to change. Uh, they're just going to make sure that, you know, right now it's like 309 gigs approximate. It's going to be 400. Easy, easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guys, as we get down to the climaxer, there's another thing coming up. But real quick, I want to say if you're into UFO content and conspiracy content, I have a second channel. Yay! On this one, we upload every single day. We upload UFO content. We also do like conspiracy stuff. Uh, and we, we, yeah, Joe Rogan conspiracy. We've done that. That was the last video that we've done. We also had like UFO clips on this one. Definitely check it out. It's called Scary X. Link is always in the description. All right, let's go back to the content now, boo boo. 
or if there's going to be exclusivity to camos and just bo6 i'm sure that's not going to be the case but i guess we'll have to wait and see what happens there's going to be a ton to, yeah. of weaponry to manage in warzone i feel bad for raven at that point it's also been confirmed for multiplayer bo6 is going to introduce 12 brand new weapons that have never been seen before in the call of duty series they're also uh didn't this say 16 though I, oh yeah i saw the tweet apparently four of those maps are gonna be for another mode i believe right Similar to how there was gunfight, but I don't think we're getting gunfight this time. They're appropriate, and there will be some prototype weapons. We'll see things like the Spring Mine, four claymores in a circle strapped together with zip ties. The RCXD, of course, is making a return in its 1991 form. The Signal Lure, which is new to COD, it's for real good slayers. All the enemies will know where you are when you turn on this beeper. Uh -huh. The War Cry is also new to COD. You get two flares, and when you bang them together, the characters around you get a buff and the spy cameras making a return for players who love to help their team. You can tag enemies with it. They also gave us a tad bit more information about the prestige mode. They mentioned that they listened to the feedback from everyone in the community, and oh, this is finally. the most rewarding Call of Duty that they've ever built for prestige mode. Okay. And like they that, said the like dev that, teams are like confident they've built the best version of the prestige system in the franchise. The best version. I don't even know what to make of that. All I know is it gets me really, really hyped up. And if they've been cooking this hard on multiplayer, my goodness, I can't wait to see what they've done. So just like the current Call of Duty games, we'll have 55 levels. These will give us our military ranks and the unlocks that we find through our creative class. But unlike these new games, you will have to reset. You will have to start back at level one and everything is going to uh -huh. lock again. I wonder if there's going to Bruh. be a reset and you can earn like the classic eraser calling card or how that works. There's going to be 10 prestigious like we said before and the entire progression system is starting on Love day that. one. I'm guessing that these will be shit. It, it, it's wild that they actually came out and yeah, don't get me wrong. Like this is good, but it's kind of wild that they had to say that it's coming out day one, guys. Day one as soon as you get the game because of course in the last years we have seen that yeah, guys, uh, once you hit rank, 55 that said you have to wait for another season for the ranks to reset or whatever crap happens right i, I don't even know how that system because i, I kind of dip you know but i mean i kind of dipped out especially with modern warfare 2023 the first call of duty that i didn't buy in modern warfare 2022 i played it at launch and then i kind of i dipped out after that i don't even know what's going on right but black ops 6 looking good and they're bringing the classic prestige system i mean shoosh, shoosh, yeah yeah, that's good, and the fact that we're gonna be able to prestige, I, I guess, day one, if somebody is really hooked on Adderall, uh, hooked on Ma Monster Energy, Doritos, day one, G Fuel, and all that, and they're gonna play 20, uh, 24 hours uh, during the first day, yeah, I'm sure they're gonna get to prestige one, and, uh, yeah, 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 they're gonna be able to rank up day one, which is, which is good, I mean, I like that, I like that, definitely. Definitely. Paired between zombies and multiplayer in Warzone, so there's one continuous rank. However, I will mention this once again, uh -oh. I don't know what that means for resetting your ranks to back to yeah. level one. Because yeah, 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 every time we went to 55, we were able to keep everything, and that included those unlocks for Warzone, since everything was carrying over. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mm -hmm. really foresee them locking things off, especially since they're two very, very different experiences. So I'm guessing once you yeah. hit the prestige rank, you'll probably be seen as such in Warzone, keeping all of your stuff. But in the multiplayer aspect, you're probably going to have to start all over. Now, last but okay. certainly not least, I want to talk the a little zombies. bit more about zombies because zombies. there were some other things that I saw when I was... I, I wish there were three maps, honestly, bro. I really wish. But you know what? Like, if these two maps are actually good, replayable and fun... Uh, for solo players and also playing with your friends the easter egg is not super hard and it is good and fun to do uh, and, and also like if the game is good for high round players yeah sure like i'll take two two maps but i hope like they, they drop the next map a little bit faster and we don't have to wait five months for it because guess what guys after this game we're gonna get another call of duty next year there will be another one so if they if these seconds take five months to drop the next map just consider this we're gonna have the next game 12 months after that bro think about it right so by the end we're easily gonna have like two or three maps usually they do like four dlc maps but uh, that used to be a thing thing of the past with season pass uh but now we don't have season pass so it's uh, it's gonna be free free it's gonna be free love it but uh I don't know, man. Like, I I hope they do four or more maps uh, throughout the season. Cause, man, like, I, I think I think they they got a solid game up in, up in their hands. But the only negative right now we're hearing, uh, yeah, clench your butt cheeks for this one. Sit down if you're standing up. Apparently, they are saying you need even if you're playing the campaign or even the zombies, even if you're playing solo, you need to have internet connected or connected to internet 24/7. Yeah. 
So, yeah, yeah, imagine you pause the game. Uh, we're not even sure if we're gonna have the pausing. <laughs> we're not even sure if we're gonna have the pausing button in this one. Uh, because these suckers don't know how to add pausing button no more by the looks of it. But I suspect that there's gonna be a pausing button. But you need to be connected to the internet. And what what if, like, you lose connection to the internet, right? Sometimes it happens to me, like, uh, like I'm watching a YouTube video, right? And, and then it's like, the internet goes out for, like, 30 seconds. And then it, the video is buffering, but the internet's gone out. If something like that happens when you have your game paused, or even if you're playing, that's it! It is Joel! It is Joel! Now, some people also would be like, yee, 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 in this day and age, everybody got internet. Okay, yeah, okay, let's use that as an argument. Like I'm saying, what if you lose access to your internet for even a second? One second, you lose connection? Your game is done, so bruh. Your game is done, so I feel like that there's gonna be a whole lot of frustrations uh, when it comes to like high rounds in this uh, in this game. Hopefully, they do some about it. If enough people talk about it, they're probably gonna do it, but people are uh bricked up right now people are cream pieing big time right now so i don't know about it rubbing through the video and really looking at every single pixel and that is some of the returning things that we saw originally in black ops cold war you can see in the short teaser clips especially right yeah. here on the stairs there's a piece <coughs> of salvage or some salvage <coughs> on the ground and when i posted this image online I did not realize that so many people disliked the salvage system from Cold War. I know that Cold War was a little bit of a interesting zombies experience for a lot of the OG players. You know, I thought it was pretty interesting too. It was a, 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 pre, a pretty big departure from what we saw in classic round based experiences. Yeah. But it grew on me over the year. And yeah, I actually, I, I personally did not mind the salvage system. The only thing that I didn't like was because the, the, the maps in Black Ops Cold War for zombies did not hit me in the G spot in comparison to Black Ops 3 zombies and somewhat Black Ops 4 zombies as well. Yeah, the maps uh, to me didn't were not that good. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> But the gameplay system, I really did like the gameplay system for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And the solid system, I, I found it fine. But right now, I feel like that there is real, real... Uh, uh, people are really craving for zombies similar to Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2. Uh, myself included. I, I feel like, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's too early to say whether I would like it, whether people would like it or not. We have to wait and see. So far, they also did mention that you can limit the HUD, which I think is brilliant because I, I hope zombies get it. Uh, to be honest, for multiplayer, they did say that you can uh, you change the HUD and all that, which is good. L because I don't want cluttery HUD. I feel like that a lot of people like the clean HUD, myself included. But for zombies, I hope it's clean. And also, I hope that zombies has its own HUD. You remember in Black Ops 3, every map had like a unique HUD. It was basically the same, but it had the, a little uniqueness to it, right? Depending on what map you were playing. I hope we have something like that. It just goes a long way, man. You know, for immersion and uh, for the quality. It goes a long way, man. It goes a long way. Like the video, if you agree learn to really really enjoy the salvage system and it's something that i kind of miss now in modern warfare zombies because it's really annoying yeah, yeah, yeah. to try to upgrade your weapons when you have to rely on randomized number boxes essentially you're like you're hoping that you can get a, a tool within you know defeating an enemy or completing a contract or an objective and if you don't have the schematic unlocked then you're waiting for a certain amount of time it's just annoying whereas with the salvage you can pick and choose your battles, what you're going to be upgrading, what you're going to be pushing forward. If it's going to be your armor right. versus your weapon versus your, you know, building a, a monkey bomb. The, the fact that they also have a zombie screw, that's a W. Not sure if that's <laughs> that's going to be a good crew or not. We have to find out very soon. I'm getting a, lo a, a lot of the, you know, uh, Call of the Dead zombie crew kind of why. A little bit, just a little bit, because the crew is different. Uh, yeah, I, I wish uh, that the crew was more like Mob of the Dead or Shadows of Evil. I would have preferred that. It's not but it's fine uh as long as it's good as long as it's good for the story and the story good map good fun uh fun mode that that's what we want that's what we want genuinely um i i liked that aspect of the game i didn't realize so many people dislike that so for me personally and once again this is just my own personal opinion feel free to have your own down below in the comment section i'm actually really happy to see the salvage i hope that they do it kind of like black ops cold war zombies I uh, i'm not happy Bruh. i'm not happy to see it but i'm also not mad to see it i, I feel like that it's uh, it's too early to tell whether that's gonna be good or not I i'm like in the middle i'm kind of in the middle of it that the, the, the solvit system like the upgrade stations i like when we're able to build things on top of classic easter eggs and things of that nature yeah, I think that would be a slam dunk. Some people say it's too easy, but the best part is you can control your difficulty at that point. You don't even need to use the salvage system if you don't want to. So for those of us that enjoy it, I guess that's good news. The other thing I should mention is th this is all alpha gameplay, so that stuff might not even exist in the final version. It hasn't yeah, been mentioned officially maybe, maybe. yet. We've only just seen it sitting on the ground. 
The four characters that are coming back, by the way, Grigori Weaver, Elizabeth Gray, Matt Carver, those characters all from Cold War. And then we have a brand new character, Maya Aguinaldo. Um, oh, I what? Oh, so these are like the specialists from Black Ops Cold War? What? Nah, man, I thought that this was a real unique cast. Somebody that we have not seen before. Run that back. No, I mean, please don't kill my hype like that, bruh. Those characters all from Cold War. And then we have a brand new character, Maya Aguinaldo. Um, I don't know what the significance of that. This or this. I mean, we're in 2024, so it could be like her. It could be him, her. It could be him, her. Right? It could be that. Yeah, the roles are always changed nowadays in, 20, in 2024, right? You do not know who's a man and who's a woman anymore, right? Yeah, so I, I don't know about it. But nah, uh... What, what do you mean by Black Ops Cold War? Do you mean like uh, from zombie zombies cutscenes that we had in Black Ops Cold War? Or do you mean uh, specialists from multiplayer? Because I, I hope these are not the specialists, bruh. That character is, we don't have any information just yet, but a little tidbit that I should mention. These are the main four that you can use to get a deeper mm. experience with additional voiceovers and they'll be featured in the cinematics. However, they are allowing us deeper. to actually still use any operator we want. We don't yeah. have to use the zombie characters that are here. Yeah, I I'm cool with it as long as we have a zombies crew as well. But guys, check out this video on the screen because we had 28 minutes of beta gameplay right there. Okay, check it out. On the left though, Activision has banned these folks from the events though. Yay! Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.